and this is do rag wisdom and this is eight days since the horrific coup d'etat of the right wing against our way of life and today we're going to once again talk about double think that classic little concept that writer George Orwell created in his totalitarian novel about a totalitarian society 1984 double think is the i once again is the idea of holding two contradictory beliefs in your head and believing both of them when it's convenient how it works is one day, say you say black, and you always believed it was black. Next day, you believe it's white, and you always believed it was white. The thing about double think is you have to hold the two beliefs, but forget that you've held the two beliefs, and you summon up whichever belief is convenient at that time to suit your parties, ideas, their dictates, whatever it is. Uh, they also refer, George Orwell also refer, refers to double think as a, um, as, as reality control. And that's the old speak uh, word for uh, double think. And you know, double think is a new speak word. And new speak is part of the the uh, uh, the language of this this uh, totalitarian society that George Orwell created a nightmare if you ever saw one I'm reading it again I, I, like I've said many times I've read this novel m many more than 50 times 60 times over my lifetime and I, I'm actually reading it again I'm studying it again underlining passages uh, actually I'm reading it on a Kindle so that's the first time I'm reading this. This uh, I've read it in hardcover. I've read it in soft cover. Now I'm reading it on a Kindle. This is a very important novel because, <laughs> and one of the things that was driving me crazy about this whole campaign and everything about the GOP is their use of all this these Orwellian created tactics. Uh, Double think is an important one, which we're, which which we have to talk about. The GOP claims to be the guardians of our democracy, the guardians of the people. They claim that they want to make this country great again. Okay? They claim that their conservative ideals, their conservative, their small government government principles, is will create a, a paradise for all of us and yet the so-called guardians of freedom the so-called guardians of our Constitution they're not allowing uh, the president that we elected to put in the Supreme Court nomination to put in his Supreme Court they've been hamstringing this man, our president, that we elected for months, ever since that cancer Scalia dropped dead. And of course, I don't believe in an afterlife or anything like that, but if there is a hell, I hope he's in it, burning with a hot poker up his fundament. So here are the guardians, the so-called guardians of our Republic and we elected a president right and his term doesn't end until the day he or she is out of office correct right is, isn't that correct now we picked for two terms Barack Obama Barack Hussein Obama okay 
American, born in the good old USA, okay? Not part of this birther, bastard, racist phenomenon, okay? So here goes the guardians, the GOP guardians of democracy of saying, the people must decide who's going to be the next Supreme Court justice. The people must decide, right? Right? That's, I heard it. You heard it. See, part of 1984 double think is you got to play with your memory. They have another thing called the mutability of the past. The past can be changed. You could always claim that you believed one way or another according to this belief. But anyway, here we go. We have elected this president, and he has uh, a month or so left before uh, our country is handed over to the thugs. And the GOP, the so-called guardians of our democratic system, are not allowing him to put in his choice for a Supreme Court justice. How do you like that? And the guy he picked isn't even a, a, a true progressive, okay? And uh, Mitch McConnell, the head of the totalitarian party, said, well, we're going to let the people decide. The president's term, ladies and gentlemen, lasts from the beginning to the end. And that includes the lame duck sex session, too. And the Republican Party has absolutely no right to block the choice, but they want to stack the Supreme Court with people that are totalitarian, that have their extremist religious ideology. They want to destroy, they want to dismantle our entire federal government and place everything back in the hands of the states. You know what that means? That means if a state wants to burn black people, they can do it, okay, right? How stupid can we get? Read 1984, folks. Read it. Take it to heart. We elected... Barack, uh, Barack Obama, Baruch Obama, I'm Jewish, I'd rather call him Baruch Obama, all right? And his term ends when that schmuck takes over, right? And he has a right under our constitutional law to pick the Supreme Court. The first thing we should demand right now is that the Supreme Court nominee, his Supreme Court nominee, be put through. But you know something? The Republican Party is the guardian of our democratic system. The Dem, I mean the, excuse me. I don't believe the Democratic Party is the guardian of our system either. Uh, we'll talk about that in another segment. I want to talk about the Democrats in another segment. But right now, we're talking about double thinking the Republican, the Republican Party. So I will say here right now, baby. They claim to be the guardians of our democratic system, Republicans. They claim to be our representatives in everything, every way. The standard bearer of the common person, right? The constitutional fanatics that they claim to be the hypocrites. They're using doublethink on you folks. They're giving you fraud. They're rigging everything. They're not allowing the person we elected to pick the Supreme Court justice. He's still in office and they are not allowing it under the guise that they're protecting us. That they're respecting our democratic system. But they're not. And this, my friends, is essentially double-think. Very bad.